Um, <clears throat> real YouTubists go to bed with wet hair. Then in the morning, they pay for what they have done. Hello, it's your boy. Forgot to add background audio. We're going to do that really quickly. Thank you, Glitch X City. Turning it down. Probably too loud. Okay. Seems fine. Okay. Um, okay, so. I am on Cerebi.net. My personal favorite source of uh, Pokemon news. And, um, when is this? Two days ago, whenever the trailer dropped, which I believe was two days ago. I've kind of lost track of time, not going to lie. Um, they made an announcement saying that they have released the starter's hidden abilities. You can get these hidden abilities uh, via Pokemon Home if you deposit a Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Um, what is a hidden ability? What and why, why is this relevant? Why is it the topic of today's video? Well, I'm going to tell you. The way the Pokemon works is that certain abilities you can get, like, naturally. Like, for example, uh, if you when you get your starter, they will always have a preset ability. Those are uh, Blaze for Score Bunny, um, Torrent for Sobble, and uh, Overgrowth for Grookey, okay? Um, however, eh, almost every Pokemon, not every Pokemon, but a lot of Pokemon have something called a hidden ability, which is, is not available traditionally, like, it was, it was an addition in Gen 5, um... It used to be only available through the Dream World. You can get it via like certain raid dens in Sword and Shield, um, as well as other methods. It's kind of uh, something that's not always available from the beginning of the game. So, for example, certain Pokemon in Sword and Shield don't have access to their hidden ability. Uh, a Pokemon like Bolton, for example, has the hidden ability competitive, but we can't use it right now because there's no way of getting it. Um, why is this relevant? Why do we care about hidden abilities? It's just an ability, right? Well... Not exactly right. Abilities can very much, like, change the way a Pokemon is played. Um, oh, by the way, do you like my shirt? I like it. Um, thank you, PG. Uh, yeah, but basically, an ability changes significantly uh, the way a Pokemon is played. And many Pokemon are played specifically because of their abilities. The, the, there's also certain abilities which are desirable on their own, even apart from the Pokemon they're attached to. Well, not entirely apart from it, but, you know. Um, and as we will explain later in this video... Uh, that is the case for one of the starters. It has an ability. Rillaboom has the ability Grassy Surge, which we'll talk more about. However, yeah, like what you need to know for now is that Rillaboom has the ability Grassy Surge, um, which is one of the four terrain abilities and is a very, very good ability. Um, the terrains aren't good enough to like justify using on their own. However, even a Pokemon like Indeedee, which wouldn't be very good without its terrain ability, gets some usage because specifically because of the ability. So effectively. The ability can change the way a Pokemon is played and can affect the way that it's used in the metagame. Let's take a quick look. We've already covered these Pokemon on the channel, but now that they have their hidden abilities, let's take another look at them. Um, let's we'll start with Cinderachi. So Cinderachi benefits either the most or the second most of the three. It gets the ability of Libero. Uh, if you're familiar with Greninja, this is the same effect. Uh, before using a move, Cinderachi will change its type to match the move. Um, that's very important. It, it can be used both for defensive and offensive purposes. Uh, defensively, if you know your opponent is going to hit you with, like, like, let's say I'm Cinderachi and my opponent is Milotic and I don't want to get hit with a fire move, or with a water move for super effective damage, I can change my type, right? And I can make that move neutral or not very effective, depending on the move I use. Um, it also, if you don't know, if a Pokemon uses a move that's the same type as the Pokemon, it gets a power boost, um, a 1.5 times power boost. So if Cinderachi uses a fire move, it would normally get a 1.5 times boost. However, this now applies to every move, so... Uh, it can use any move offensively and get the boost, which is a huge deal. Like, it can function as any type as long as it attacks. Um, yeah. And it's very difficult to hit because, like, if you try to hit it with a ground move and it uses, like, max flying, you just waste your attack, right? And uh, that gives a lot of momentum to the player using the Cinderachi. Um, the stats are also, like, not terrible now that you give it this good ability. The attack is good. It's not amazing, like, it's, it's fine, but the speed is very good, especially for the current metagame where things are typically slower than this. There's only a handful of Pokemon faster than 119, which means, in general, Cinderachi will be attacking first. The bulk's not great, but it's also not terrible for a fast, frail-ish Pokemon, um, and it has lots of great moves. Sucker Punch is a big one, we're going to be talking about that. High Jump Kick is good. Gunk Shot for fairies if you want. Iron Head, Electro Ball. Um, normally, you run away from physical moves on this Pokemon, Flare Blitz. Uh, Blaze Kick, it gets good support moves like Taunt and Baton Pass. Mostly Taunt, it's way better than Baton Pass. It does not get Willowisp, unfortunately. Gets Fighting Coverage moves, gets a couple Flying moves, Bounce is a big one. Um, U-Turn is, is solid. Helping Hand can be used. Um, Court Change is its signature move. You can use this to counter Lapras teams and other teams that are setting up certain field effects like Tailwind. Yeah. 
Uh, let's talk about Inteleon next. Inteleon is of the three benefits the least. Inteleon, however, before was the most used of the three as well. Uh, Inteleon gets Sniper, which powers up critical hit moves um, to 225% increased damage rather than 150% damage, which is really big. The issue with the, like, although the ability is like a great power up, uh, the issue is that there's not a super consistent way to get critical hits. Um, Snipe Shot has increased crit rate, which is good, uh, I believe. Yeah. It has increased crit rate, uh, which is good, but other than that, like, you need to have some kind of setup in order to get Inteleon using, like, having access to the critical hits, uh, which makes the ability worse. You can build a team around it for sure, and the stats, like, are similar to Cinderachi, but slightly better in the uh, offenses and speed, which is very good, but yeah, like, it's definitely not ideal. Snipe Shot also isn't that powerful, like, it's not that powerful on its own. Like, most people have been running Hydro Cannon on, Cinder on uh, Inteleon, so, yeah. Um, of the three, Inteleon benefits the least. Then we have Rillaboom. Uh, Rillaboom, I think, benefits, in my opinion, the most. Maybe Cinderachi as well, but yeah, in my opinion, it activates the most. Grassy Surge is the ability. It activates Grassy Terrain for five turns. Grassy Terrain does three things. The first is it powers up Grass-type moves by 1.3 times damage, which is good. Um, the second is that it heals everybody touching the ground by 6% at the end of the turn. So leftovers for every Pokemon touching the ground. And the third is that it um, reduces the power of certain ground moves. Not all ground moves, but certain ones like Earthquake. Um, and Bulldoze and Magnitude all get reduced. So, um, this is very good for Rillaboom. It already has a lot of really good moves. Even without its ability, it had some play on Japanese teams. Um, it gets Knockoff. Knockoff is one of the best moves in the game, and yeah, there's not that many Pokemon that get it that are legal right now. So, yeah, Knockoff is a big one. Woodhammer is good. It gets uh, Drum Beating, which is a very, very solid Grass-type move. Considering the boost in power from Grassy Terrain and the really good secondary effect and the no drawback, it's a great move. Um, it also gets Fake Out as well. I don't know if I missed that. I think it's an egg move. Uh, yeah. It gets a lot of really good moves. It gets Fake Out. It gets Fighting Type Coverage. It gets Leech Seed. Um, and the stats are good. Unlike the other two who are geared toward offensive and speed, uh, Rillaboom can be used. It can be used offensively because it has a great base attack stat. However, um, it can also be used defensively because of the high base HP stat. And, like, defense isn't terrible and special defense isn't good. But, yeah. It's also faster than you would expect. Um, other notable moves. High Horsepower, Darkest Lariat, Body Press. Um... Bulk Up could be used, Superpower, Taunt is a big one, Taunt is a great move, Substitute, Swords Dance if you wanted it, um, Snarl is a good support move, U-Turn, yeah, I think all the starters get U-Turn, which is kind of cool, but yeah, okay, so now we've seen kind of an overview, let's talk about specific sets, we're gonna start with Inteleon, this is the one I had the most trouble for, personally, because it's, yeah, like, kind of hard to figure out what to do, uh, with Inteleon, effectively, I have three sets here, the first is kind of just your traditional Inteleon set, however, um, it has Snipe Shot, over a water move you this is the kind of pokemon you might want to pair with something like gmax basically in general you want to maybe consider pairing inteleon with gmax with champ but the first um the first set specifically snipe shot is good because you can get around gastrodon so if you're dealing with a colossal you have the ability to hit the colossal or anything being protected by gastrodon which is good um the reason you run snipe shot is because of the increased crit rate of course you could always just play inteleon like normal and yeah hope you crit things like naturally and run hydro cannon over snipe shot but snipe shot increases your odds slightly uh yeah, like, a crit snipe shot is stronger than a regular Hydro Cannon and doesn't have the drawback and doesn't miss, so it's, like, a better move, but getting the crit is hard. Anyway, like I said, I think you can compare Inteleon with, like, GMAX Machamp. Um, these first two sets are, are intended to be, you know, done with that. Um, in terms of moves on Inteleon, you generally want Snipe Shot or, or some kind of water move. I think you generally want Air Slash if you plan on Dynamaxing it. Um, Dark Pulse is also a solid move, and then as the fourth move, people run Protect or Mud Shot or pretty much whatever you want, depending on your team composition. Uh, all the EVs are max speed and max H or max speed max special attack with 4 HP because it's not investing in bulk isn't going to do anything for you with the Pokemon as frail as this. So, yeah. Anyway, first set pair it with G Max Machamp or you know maybe Baton Pass, um, Focus Energy to it and Dynamax. It it's not super easy to build around guaranteed crits, um, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, this is what I came up with. It doesn't need to Dynamax or it doesn't need to get critical hits is the nice thing. It's kind of like a bonus. Um, so you can Dynamax this as well uh, if you need to. So. That's the general idea there, uh, if you're going to use Inteleon. Second set, you could also run Focus Sash on if you wanted, and drop Focus Energy. Or, yeah, you could drop... You could drop Scope Lens, you could drop Focus Energy, depending on the team. Um, scope Lens plus Focus Energy means you guaranteed crit. The way that critical hits work is at plus one stage, or one stage of increased critical hits, you have a 1 in 8 chance of critting, which is what Snipe Shot has naturally, which is why you run it. Because it's a huge increase in percentage, like a 10% increase um, over critting normally. Um... At two stages, which is like Scope Lens plus Snipe Shot or just plain Focused Energy without Scope Lens, you have a 50% chance of critting every move, 
Meaning, if you run Scope Lens, Snipe Shot, and Teleon, it has a 50% chance of critical hitting every time. Um, and if you add Focus Energy into that, then, um, yeah, it's a guaranteed, all your moves guaranteed crit with Focus Energy plus Scope Lens. So, um, you could also, if you really wanted to, you could run a setup Inteleon team where you do, like, Hydrokin Inteleon with, and then you always plan on Focus Energy and then Dynamaxing and just, like, yeah, like, critting everything and doing ridiculous damage. So that's definitely an option, because if you crit Max Geyser, uh, off of Hydro Cannon, you're gonna, like, nothing lives that, I bet. I wonder if you will Oko Dusclops. Let's just find out. Like, I don't think you do, but, like, let's find out. Okay, Hydro Pump is here. There's no Hydro Cannon in the Calc, so we're gonna change this to 150 base power. Uh, we're gonna take off Helping Hand. We're gonna put in Sniper. We're gonna critical hit this. So, okay, but that's some that's special defensive build. Dust Clops. Do you like standard old Dust Clops? I mean, yeah, this is like a typical Dust Clops red, and you have a you almost guaranteed Oko it, which is kind of ridiculous with a crit. Um, Max Geyser off Hydro Pump. So, uh, yeah, that's it's very powerful at the lead. It's the lead. So, that's another option you could have. Uh, the last Inteleon is just a support Inteleon if you want to run it with like Soak. If you have a team that benefits from Soak, that's definitely an option. Um,. But yeah, uh, just kind of standard Sash and Teleon. Like some teams would like, for you would pair this with like a, uh, something fast and electric or grass. Uh, the general idea being you soak something, change it to water type, and then hit it with a super effective move. It's not great, but um, yeah, it's not terrible either. Moving on, let's talk about Cinderachi. So Cinderachi, like I said, benefits a lot. Um, I think the first set... Okay, so f uh, the first thing I should say is as a disclaimer is that you should probably be using the move Like the moves, I've just given like kind of sample good moves, but you could do other things as well. Um, with Cinderachi, like, you can, you don't have to run Pyro Ball, you don't have to run Bounce, you, well, you probably should run Bounce, but you don't need Iron Head or Sucker Punch necessarily, they're just, like, solid moves. Um, this is a great Pokemon, it has, like, the ability to change its type now, change, like, makes it so much more viable. Um, I like Iron Head personally, because there's a lot of Fairy types around right now, uh, I like the combination of Iron Head and Bounce as well, because versus Excadrill, if you think they're going to use Quake, you can Max Bounce the partner, or just regular Bounce and change your type to Flying. Um, so that way you don't get hit. And versus, like, if you think they're going to Steel Spike you, you can always go for Steel Spike of your own or Pyro Ball. Um, yeah. Sucker Punch is very good for Dragapult. Also, I heard that Helping Hand Life Orb Sucker Punch, if you Dynamax it, has a chance to Oko Dusclop. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, Life Orb Assault is just a typical offensive Pokemon. Good for Dynamaxing, but doesn't have to Dynamax. Yeah, overall solid. Next up, we have Sash Cinderachi. This is more of a support set. Um, Court Change is the signature move. This set intends to take less advantage of Libero and more advantage just of the um, natural base speed and now, like, the good ability. I don't know if Sucker Punch is the right fourth move. Like, maybe you're an Iron Head. You also don't need Court Change, necessarily. Um, but yeah, this is, like, a good thing. If you're having trouble with, like, teams that have Dusclops and Lapras on them, for example, this could be a good thing you could try. I haven't tested this myself, so I don't know for sure how strong it is, but, like, the ability to steal Aurora Veil seems kind of powerful. Court Change switches all, like, um, field effects. So, Tailwind, uh, Reflect, Light Screen, Aurora Veil, you can just steal it with Court Change, so... Yeah, um, I think that's a pretty viable strategy for dealing with Lapras. Although, of course, you have to, you know, get an imposition and Lapras has to use the G-Max Resonance and such. But, yeah, even so, I think it's solid. Um, last one is Choice Band. Choice Band hasn't had a ton of usage in this format, but um, because Cinderachi changes its type when it attacks, like, it'll actually do pretty good damage with these moves. Even moves like U-Turn and Sucker Punch, which are super strong naturally. Um, I would typically say Life Orb is going to be this, your go-to set. Um most of the time. In theory, you could also run a berry, but I think Life Orb is going to be your go-to one. These are other alternatives, though, like if your Life Orb is already taken. So I would try them out personally. Uh, and then last but not least, Rillaboom. Rillaboom is the most complex of the three. A lot of things you can do with it. The first set is just a solid support Pokemon. I give it Fake Out, Knock Off, Drum Beating, and then uh, over Drum Beating, you can always run Wood Hammer if you want. Uh, over Snarl, you could run High Horsepower or other moves as well. I give it Snarl because I figured it was somewhat good here uh with assault vest and these items i made it always live uh max modest max special attack togekiss max airstream so you can at least do that and go for a snarl or a knockoff uh you won't live if they crit but yeah hopefully they don't crit um yeah uh overall this makes Rillaboom really bulky like i said the base special defense is kind of low so this compensates for that with uh, a lot of investment you also have some nice recovery with um assault vest and or with grassy train and you have good longevity with um, the Assault Vest and Support Moves and Fake Out and Snarl, and also Drum Beating as well, so, yeah. Um, the rest of the EVs you could put in Defense, I thought it was better to put in an Attack to make, give, like, more offensive pressure, but, yeah. Uh, that's the Assault Vest set. You can also do something annoying with, like, I mean, this set isn't perfect, I think, like, you still need to work, like, workshop it a little bit, but, like, uh, with Leftovers and, excuse me, 
With Leftovers and Grassy Surge, you actually heal a lot each turn, like 12.5% every single turn, or 12% every turn, more or less. Um, and so, if you alternate using Protect, you're healing a quarter of your health every other turn. Um, and if you add in Leech Seed and Substitute, you can be super annoying to get rid of. Uh, this, like, this was a set used somewhat on top of Bulu back in the day, uh, like a Leech Seed set. And with Drum Beating, you also have good speed control options. So, yeah, I think this set can be super annoying. Uh, Rillaboom, because it has such high base HP, has above 200 HP stat. Which is very valuable because it means that Dusclops can't break your sub with a Nightshade. So, I think this set could actually be kind of good. But, yeah, you'll have to see for yourself, I guess. Um, and then, last but not least, we have just like a bulky support set. Um, I needed to take G-Max Resonance from Modest Max, Max Special Effect Lapras. Um, which I think could be valuable personally. Yeah, and then you just have like decent support moves. Fake Out, Knock Off, Wood Hammer, or uh, Drum Beating. That's interchangeable in all these sets depending on your team and what you want to do. And then Taunt. Taunt is a great support move. Um, yeah, like shutting down Dusclops. This is like a really good anti-Dusclops Pokemon, for example. Uh, on, in a vacuum, at least. Because you get Taunt to stop support moves and you get Knock Off to weaken its longevity. So, yeah. And like, yeah, like Dusclops doesn't do that much damage to you. Uh, especially after Grassy Terrain healing. So, yeah. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I think it's really interesting that the Hidden Ability starters were released. Especially now. Uh, they're gonna shake things up a lot, I think. Maybe not a ton, like, I don't know if they're gonna be metagame defining, but you're definitely gonna see them if you follow VGC, so, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Goodbye.